Congratulations. Hey, I'm not really a rabbi. You're not? No. Tim, it's me, Danny. Hey, you see, I'm running from the mob. They're trying to kill me. Oh, of course. <laughs> I just wonder if there really is a life after death. And if there is, do you think everyone's invited? Good afternoon, Mrs. Tay. Oh, hello, Officer Tinkler. I'm Chief of Police Tinkler. May I come in? I I'm afraid this is a very bad time. There's been a death in the family. Well, I, I know, Mrs. Tay. That's precisely why I'm here. Now, if you'll uh, allow me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your uh, attention, please? I'm uh, Chief of Police Tinkler. I I'm here because there's been a murder. Another one? Huh? Uh, no, no, it's it's the same same one. Now I need to ask some questions, and I need to get some answers. Fact number one: there has been a murder. No. <laughs> yes, yes. Peter Campbell was murdered. My son. He was my son. The son of Bert Campbell. <laughs> The murderer's not going to get away, Mr. Campbell. Oh, no. You see, the murderer's right here. Where? In this room. Yes, what do you mean? Yes. 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 Quiet, everybody. Quiet. Quiet. Uh, you heard correct. Oh, you can believe your ears. Right here in this room is the murderer of Peter Campbell. I'll kill you. Whoever you are, I'm going to kill you. Uh, uh, please, would you all just uh, sit down? Uh, uh, sit down, please. Whew. Mrs. Tate, can I trouble you for a glass of milk? Oh, yes. Benson, would you please get the sheriff a glass of milk? And some cookies? <laughs> you have Oreos? Right. <laughs> Wait to find out who did it. This is just like a movie of the week. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. What person in this room could possibly have killed Peter Campbell? What person? That's right, you idiot. What person? You, for one. Uh, and this is how we spend our tax dollars. What would my motive be? Jealousy. Jealousy? Yes, Mr. Ah. Tate. <laughs> of course, I knew it. I knew it was him. I've always hated him. <laughs> Now, where were you last night, Mr. Tate? Between uh, the hours of midnight and seven. It was at Peter's killing us. <laughs> I was asleep. Can anyone vouch for that? <coughs> of course. Jessica? Well, I'd like to. But can you? I was asleep in another room. Can anyone else vouch for you, Mr. Tate? Well, I'm sorry, Chester. Mr. Tate? Uh, Benson knows that I was here. Sorry. Uh, uh, Mr. Tate is, is one of the suspects. What would my reason be, you idiot? What possible motive could I have had for killing him, you bumbling twit? Because he was having an affair with your wife. Mr. Tate is one of the suspects. The uh, second suspect is Mrs. Tate. Me? Yes, you, Mrs. Tate. Because you were having an affair with Peter Campbell and he left you. Of course, I knew it. Your sweet sister, a murderess. <laughs> Don't be silly. I couldn't murder anybody. I couldn't even spank the children when they were bad. Well, well can anyone vouch for your whereabouts last night between midnight and 7 a.m.? I was asleep in the guest room. Did anyone see you sleeping in the guest room? I don't know. I was asleep. <laughs> Second suspect is Mrs. Tate. Now, moving on to the, uh, to the third suspect, Corinne. Oh, come on. How do you like that? Your niece killed my son. <laughs> Where were you last night between midnight and 7 a.m.? None of your business. Corinne, hmm? please answer his questions. After all, he is the piece of chilief. Where were you? I was at a motel. Were you with anyone? No. 
No. But you went to the motel because earlier that evening when you came home, you found Peter Campbell in bed with another woman. Ah, who was the fourth suspect. No, it's impossible for a blind woman to shoot with that kind of accuracy. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> tallying up now. So far in this room, there are three sus... three suspects. And there are more. Oh, please. He's a suspect. Uh, why? Uh, for two reasons. Well, number one, because he's black. Uh, that's fair. The other reason is because he's the butler. We all know that in many, many cases like this, the butler did it. What? Yeah. I mean, where do you think they got that expression? I mean, you think they just dreamed it up? The butler did it? No, no. No, you're suspect number four. Benson. Yeah, thanks. Mm. <laughs> now for you. Me? Yes, you. Where were you last night? In a hotel in Washington. Was there anyone with you that could testify to that? Yeah, uh, um, no. Suspect number five. I was registered. I checked out this morning. Well, that may be true. But nevertheless, you could have caught one of those shuttle flights at midnight, killed Peter, and flown back in plenty of time to check out. <laughs> <laughs> and that takes us to the major. This is getting more and more ridiculous. Well, we all know he has a gun. Of course I carry a gun, Corporal. This is wartime. Suspect number seven. Carry on. <laughs> All right, summing up here. Uh... All the Tates are suspect. <laughs> Your family. Now we come to the Campbells. <laughs> uh, Danny's a suspect. He's not even here. Exactly. He's disappeared. You think innocent people disappear? Plus, we all know about his connections with the underworld. You, too, are a suspect. Oh, I can't wait to hear why. Because you're a, a homo. <laughs> That's almost as good as my reason. <laughs> well, we all know that homos do strange things. <laughs> that they're homos to begin with makes them a little strange. <laughs> Got an alibi for last night? Yeah, he does. He does, and I can vouch for him. He was out last night with a girl. Huh? Oh. And he didn't come home. He did not come home. So not only did he not do it, what he did do disproves your whole gay idea. So he's not guilty, not gay. Fine. You give me the name of the girl. I'll check it out. I can't. Jody, come on. What are you protecting? She's a nurse, for God's sakes. Everybody knows about nurses. I didn't go out with her. I stood her up. Ninth suspect. You didn't take her out? I mean, after, after the, the shaving lotion, so, the advice, the whole thing? Suspect number nine. What is that? I don't understand you. I gave you all the stuff. He, he's the ninth suspect. Suspect number nine, okay? Huh? Huh? Yeah. All right, now for you guys. Where were you last night between midnight and 7 a.m., huh? I was with Bob here. Yeah, he was. I can vouch for him. All right. And I'll leave you up there. Wait a minute. Suspect number 10. And 11? And 11. All right, fellow. Oh, you're a priest. Well, that leaves you off the hook. Hey, you, the Jewish guy. Uh, who are you? I'm uh, Rabbi Maccabee. Oh. But what are you doing here? They're Episcopalian. Well, I, uh, I, I was passing by on the street and, uh, and I heard grief. Jewish grief, Catholic grief, Protestant grief. It's all grief to me. I, I, I do some of my best work with grief. Right. I mean, you talk about grief. Well, Who I knows remember. more about grief? Okay. I can spot Rabbi. grief a mile away. Sit down. Boy, can they talk. <laughs> Mrs. Campbell. Now, there's no reason in the world to suspect you. <laughs> Therefore, I suspect you. <laughs> suspect number 12. All right. Moving right along to Mr. Campbell, the, the bereaved father, the least likely suspect of all. Right. Therefore, a suspect. <laughs> all right, I advise all of you. No, I, uh, I, I request 
all of you to remain in town. You're all suspect. You're all to remain here and available for questioning. You got that? Because sooner or later, one of you, I'm afraid, is going to be arrested for the murder of Peter Campbell. Have a nice day. <laughs>